Hello high school students and intelligent people. Best case scenario you're both. Consider the difference between librarians and school teachers. Librarians are custodians of real books and realty readers. School teachers are custodians of school books and indentured readers. Somewhere in the difference is the Rosetta Stone which reviews how education is one thing and schooling is another. Let's begin with the setting and social arrangement of the library. The ones I've been to have invariably been calm, quiet, and clean. You can just read rather than pretend to read. Schools are never silent. People of all ages work side by side in the library while in schools it's a group of age segregated kids. For some reason, libraries do not segregate by age or some questionable test of reading ability. The library seems to think that common human judgment is adequate to most learning decisions. The library doesn't tell me what to read, doesn't tell me how to read, doesn't tell me the sequence of reading I have to follow, and doesn't grade my reading. The librarian lets me ask my own questions, helps me when I need help, not when the library decides I need help. If I feel like reading in the same place all day long, that's okay with the library. They don't have to bother me by ringing a bell in my ear telling me to stop and move someplace else or read a different book. The library keeps their nose out of my home, too. It doesn't send letters to my mother reporting on my behavior and what I'm reading. It doesn't make recommendations or issue orders on how I should spend my time outside of the library. The public library isn't in a public humiliation the same way schools seem to be. It never posts rank lists of good and bad readers for everybody to see. Presumably, it considers good reading its own reward, not requiring additional accolades. One of the strangest things about libraries and schools are that you never see bad kids acting up in libraries. You don't see them waving a gun around in there or doing graffiti in the library. Even though the bad kids have exactly the same access to public libraries as the good kids, bad kids seem to respect libraries for some reason, a curious phenomenon which may well be understood as unconscious response to the automatic respect that libraries bestow blindly on everybody. Even people that don't read like libraries. It's an incredibly nice place. The people are nice and everything's free. Here's another angle to consider. The library never makes general future predictions about my life based on my reading habits. Or it doesn't hit that I'll be happier if I read Shakespeare rather than Dean Koontz, Barbara Cartlin, or comic books. The library also tolerates eccentric reading habits. You can read about whatever you want, and however weird you want to read. It realizes that free men and women are often very eccentric. Finally, the library is filled with real books, not school books. Its volumes are not written by collective pens or picked by politically correct screening committees. Real books conform to the curriculum of only the private author, not the invisible curriculum of some German collective agenda, some American collective agenda, some government collective agenda. Public libraries and public library policies, in fact commercial bookstores and commercial bookstore policies, are a major clue to the reform of American schooling. When you take free will and solitude out of education, it becomes schooling. Can't have it both ways.